What is up, YouTube? Jonas Fatson back with a new mini series, could be a series on No Man's Sky. This is a game that I don't really need to introduce, but it is a game that has received some pretty major upgrades in the last few months that I want to check out. Uh, I haven't really dived into No Man's Sky very much. I have been missing out, uh, I believe, on a lot of the game. You can see here my survival uh, was in 2019 and it was one minute. I, I did stream No Man's Sky a little bit, uh, to be honest, but I didn't really get into it as much as I wanted to. So I want to do a, uh, a series on it, at least to get an understanding of it, to see how the, uh, I'm going to do normal here, to see how some of the advancements and so forth are, are coming. I remember this taking a while from a loading perspective, so I'm hoping it doesn't take too long. Also, these stars are pretty janky, but it is kind of nice to see the stars fly. You know, Petita Cart. All right. That had, there was three stars at once there. That's a little dangerous. Little dangerous. Can you, you can sort of move in here. I remember that. Oh, it's all sorts of janks. I probably should have loaded this in before introducing. Anyway, uh, it is from Hello Games. It came out a little while ago it's so bright um but like i said they, they've been doing a, uh, a number of updates with it uh, i don't really need to speak on the controversy around the game itself um but they they have pulled themselves out of the the danger zone as it were uh and now it's a it's a beloved game it's it's very popular we're on a very hot planet called new ovu New oov? New oov. All right, so our goal here, if I recall, is to build a spaceship. I wonder if that's changed at all. I really don't know. Are we in first person? No. No, okay, so we can jump. Okay. First contact. So I'm trying to remember the controls here a little bit. It's going to walk us through. The, the first episode is really going to be reacquiring the skills that I probably missed. Hazardous heat levels detected. Give me that sweet carbon. Uh, we are immediately going to have to find shelter somewhere because it's so hot. Uh, perform a scan to find sodium. It's critically damaged. We need ferrite dust. Okay. Luckily, there's some right here. I believe it's fairly common. Okay, don't overheat. Watch the bar on the bottom left. How am I doing on the, uh, the screen here, by the way? I might need to make myself a bit smaller. Mm, let's put myself there. Oh, okay, a little bit of lag bringing the game back up. Whatever. All right, all right. Um, I believe we have enough ferrite dust now. No, we definitely don't. Now we do. Okay, continue. We have to enter in the menu and repair it. So tab it, scanner. I love it. So now we can scan. And we are looking for sodium. I can't remember. Yeah, NA is sodium. How far away are you? 139 units, 147. Oh, we're going to we're going to burn up before we even get anywhere. Okay. Um That's a problem. That's a big problem. Yeah, I wonder why. Get out of here. How are you living on this planet? It's 75 degrees. Can I get inside this thing? Cut a path like a tauntaun? No. We, we're probably going to die on this planet. <laughs> Oh my gosh. 
Hook me up with this sodium. Just collect it. Okay. Recharge hazard prediction. We... Okay, okay. I vaguely recall now. We need to get more sodium so our hazmat suit doesn't vaporize in the 74.8 kil or Celsius, not kilogram, Celsius heat. Um, we need to reach the mark signal, but I'll tell you straight up, I want to get our suit to uh, full protection right now. I think that's pretty important. New guide, navigation basics. I'm not going to worry about that. Not going to worry. Where did the... I think it was like this one, right? It's the weirdly phallic plant right here. All right, all right, all right. Come back up here. Okay, we're in a good spot. So where is... Marker's right there. That's where we need to go to. We should probably pick up this sodium on our way. I gotta leave the animals alone. The, they, they look dangerous. I believe that there's a way that you can scan them, though. I don't, I mean, we might not have that yet. Like, where you can, uh, you can, uh, you can scan and name them if they haven't been discovered before. And we don't need carbon. Okay, let's make our way to the marker. We're, we're going to pick up sodium along the way to make sure that we don't uh, die. And we'll pick up some hydrogen or dye hydrogen. Where was the... Okay, it's right there. It's right there. And the marker's up over there. Okay, we're totally fine. We lost a little bit of health due to the uh, sweltering heat. But, you know, I've been to Vegas in the summertime. I'm not too worried. I've seen it. I've seen it. I've seen hot weather. I mean, it's hot for me. I'm from Canada. So, you know, call it hot is all you want. But uh, at the end of the day, like 23 degrees and I'm like, oh, my God, it's so hot out. All right, life support. I'm not even going to worry about that right now. Hey, little dude, you can feed, I can feed you. Can I feed you? Uh, we have no creature pellets. Okay, all right. I don't remember there being creatures here before. It's dihydrogen crystals. They got that HH bond, y'all. Okay, let's, uh, let's make our way here. I believe this might be the start of rebuilding the ship. I think. I don't know 100%. I'm, I'm trying to go off memory here, but it has been about a year since I've played. So we don't need any ferrite dust. Yeah, I think we got to repair that. The thing that's spewing like a volcano, uh, that requires repair. Damage machinery. Let's let's go right here first. Scenario. Iteration. Boundary separation failure likely. Emptied. A lot of mumbo jumbo. Fresh iterated generated anomaly containment period. Broadcast that baby. Traveler anomaly detected. Okay, you've logged my position. I appreciate it. Analyze the geode with E to analyze first locate here. Analyze the geode. Analyze the crystal fragment with E to analyze locate in tab. Okay, well, we've done it. Investigate the crash ship. Hello, crash ship. Oh, 
I want to fly the ship. You're not going to fly for me. Because things don't work like the local thrusters and the pulse engine. They don't work. But at least it seems she, the ship seems to at least recognize me. The controls react to my touch, or at least that of my exosuit. I am not dead yet, and that, and this ship is a lifeline out to the stars. I don't know why I read the log. I don't really care about the log. Repair ship systems. That's what I'm looking for. Now we need to get stuff for it, right? Yeah, we need hermetic seal and metal plating. Okay. Which we won't find on our own. Uh, we'll have to to make, I believe. And how do you? How does one make it? Is a great question. Repair metal plating, hermetic seal, dihydrogen jelly, pure ferrite. Understood. Collect ferrite dust. Done. Uh, craft metal plating. Use tab. Oh, it's up here, it's up here. Okay, okay. Craft metal plating. Patch metal plating under the pulse engine in the ship inventory tab. Find the pulse engine, then begin repair with this. I love it. We're, we're making progress. We, I've already gone further in the first video than I actually expected. Uh, now we need to board the starship and collect consult ship diagnoses. All right. I know it, it needs the the other stuff. Yeah, we need the hermetic seal. Request assistance. Why not? There is one nearby. Salvage planetary chart from the distress beacon cache. Beautiful which is going to be, I saw the marker, where did it go? It's not, it's not in here. Or is it in here? Take planetary chart, sure. Oh, I see. Now we've got that and Yeah, now I understand. It's the map. We got the map. I don't remember this part at all. But that looks cool as heck. All right, we got a target. We know where we're going. Still not in a great spot there. That's all right. That's If we can make it off the planet in the very first episode. Ooh, baby. What is that thing? We got to check this blue thing right here. Please don't be aggressive. I, I have a mining, mining gun. I think this thing tried to eat me. You die now. That's definitely lava right there. Do not attack me. How does one, how does that evolve, is my question. <laughs> what evolutionary path did that thing take? Incoming firestorm? Uh, sure. Put it, put it here. Why not? Thanks for the jelly, I guess. How am I, so... Am I dead with the firestorm coming? Is there anywhere I can hide? I guess I can go back to the, I think we gotta go back to the ship. Put that in my exosuit. Seek shelter, charge your hazard, all right, all right. Oh no, oh no. Is this shelter? It's definitely not shelter. 
we, we gotta go back to the ship. Where is... Where is my ship? I'm dying because I'm... I'm looking around for my ship, and I'm walking very slowly. 114 degrees. I, I believe it's just up here. Okay, we gotta we gotta repair real quick. This is why this is why we brought it. It's why I stopped and got it, not for a firestorm, but for you know to do some repairs. Hook me up with oxygen. That seems important. And we're just gonna we're gonna wait it out in the ship. It's 19 degrees in here. It's okay. Can't can't do anything in here right now. Um, wrong button. Can I heal myself here? There. I had a feeling it was something like that. Okay, I'm gonna grab a drink of water while this is happening. Come on, Firestorm. I feel like we would have died. If, if I ventured out further or tried to make that marker, I would not have survived. 104 degrees. No. Beautiful. It's a, it's a mild 85 degrees Celsius. No problem, let's go. All right, nice and dark and nighttime. Why not? Okay, remember there's that plant that tried to eat you as well? We, I think we killed it, but just in case we did not, we'll, we'll see. Oh yeah, yeah, F is the, uh, the visor. I, I was thinking it was for the flashlight. Okay, we're, we're cool, we're cool. We're cool. How did you survive the uh, the firestorm? Is my question. What kind of calluses on your skin do you have that a firestorm is no big deal? We we looked at all that. We looked at all that. Don't even worry. There was stuff there. I don't know what it does. It could have been amazing. I don't know. Can't do anything with that. Let's go to the balloon party here. I'll tell you straight up, this these things scare me. I have a feeling they're gonna explode. I don't know what it is, but I feel like everything here is going to try to kill me. It may not be true, but I mean, kinda could be. I like the uh, the aesthetic here. This like nice blue and orange layout is is pretty. Okay, we're gonna scavenge this ship as much as we can because they got some stuff going on here, and I want I want part of it. Like, give me this. I'm taking it. You can, you can say, like, oh, you shouldn't be taking it, but we're, we're taking it. We're taking the, the, the gin, I think it was. Dihydrogen. Don't mind if I die do. Did not work. Distress beacon. We have one of these. I clamber to the cargo ship and find its black box. As soon as I touch it, it's a holographic image of a panicked reptilian trader. Perhaps it's a message for their superior, perhaps a loved one. It's impossible to tell as the playback is hauntingly silent. It's in its final moments as a trader. It seems to point at some freshly installed ship tech before dropping to its knees in despair. In despair. Give me the, the ship tech. You're not going to need it. I don't know what we got there. What, what is that? Teleport receiver. Ooh. Ooh. I don't know what it is, but ooh. Oh, we could have waited out the storm here. Um, 
compare stats, leave. Oh, I see. We can't. I was thinking we could come in and like steal. <laughs> just leave it alone. I was like, yo, I think we can just take their stuff. What is that? That for sure is is gonna kill me. That is like an angler fish in the ocean. It is dangling its light in front of its mouth. Yeah, I, I'm gonna go over there and the worm from Dune is gonna pop out and it just absolutely destroyed me. It's coming this way. A sarlacc is gonna come out and it's gonna go, surprise, your food now. And I'm not gonna have a good time. <laughs> I'm not gonna have a good time. So we're just gonna ignore it. I, we're not on survival or hardcore or anything. So I'm not exactly like worried about dying, but at the same point I would like to not, if I can avoid it. This little lawn chair there. Cool. All right, it wants me to go here, reach the hollow archive. We got one log. Making the recording in case bah, is leaving behind boot in the fabricator. Bleh, might be of some use. Kazik, visor damaged, can't find ship. Recover supplies. Oh, the hermetic seal. How's my inventory doing on space? I, I don't know if I can fill these spots, but I, I, I at least have some. Can I, I wanna search the plant. Thank you for the free carbon. What a lovely plant. All right, if a storm comes, we're actually in a good spot right now with this like little, little area here. Uh, we can use the analysis visor to find the ship now. But first I'm gonna see what's going on in here. Does not look like anything. Just a, a nice little bunker. We have to install it. We need carbon nanotubes. How do you make carbon nanotubes? I don't know. <laughs> Uh, open the inventory to install the analysis. Okay. How do we, it's gonna tell us how we do it. Gather carbon. Well, hello plant. I don't wanna like kill the animals for this, to be honest. I really don't. Okay, now we come over to multi-tool, come here, go there. Now we've got our visor. Oh, okay, this is what I was thinking. We can now like scan these bad boys. Cool. All right, now we gotta locate the ship. It's right there, scan this. Thank you for the free units. I think it wants us to do like a couple ones here. That's the same animal. Can scan this, this pineapple that's in the ground. It is definitely uh, a pineapple, not whatever that term was. Okay, how much do you actually want me to uh, to analyze here? Can I, I can't remember if I can zoom this or not. Hmm, okay, okay. Let's go, I'm just trying to, I'm reading what it wants me to do here. Cause it says analyze objects for rewards. I believe I've done enough, oh, okay, okay. I didn't click continue. Just gotta go back to the starship now. It 
this buried cache here. How do we, how in the world do we deal with the buried cache? Where was it though? Was it like right here? Did I completely miss it? What the hell? It's right here. Wait for it. How do I get the buried cash? I don't think I can. I don't think I can. I'm going to go back to the ship. I don't think I can get buried things yet. So I'm going to worry about it. I do need to uh, fuel this a little bit. There we go. It's nighttime right now, which on this planet seems not too bad. A, uh, a nice 61 degrees outside. That's a fire plant. That is a Mario fire plant. And it will destroy. I kind of want to go down here. I did not even notice this giant thing right here. Now I kind of don't want to go down. <laughs> Lowing to Dwight. In Manite. Advanced mining laser required. Okay. We are, we are not at a level that uh, I would feel comfortable going there at all. So I want to see if there's any sodium on the way just in case because we did use the last of it. So we are a little short. But honestly, we're not going to venture, I think, uh, this is kind of going to be, this is it. This is like the spaceship and then we're, we're in a good spot. You can also upgrade your sprint. How very interesting. Although I have a feeling like, uh, I, I don't recall, but I, I think we need to do something further to the ship to get off the planet. Like, I think it's like, okay, your engines are up, but you need uh, nuclear power or something to, to get out of, you know, out of the atmosphere to break this planet's gravity. But I don't know. We're almost there. Almost there, running up the hill. Get that workout. It's a leg day. Let's go. I would hate to live on this planet, by the way. Just throwing that out there. Give me that oxygen. All right, so to repair the ship, I keep hitting escape. We go here, and we go here. And I think, yeah, that's some, uh, that's some good music right there. Uh, okay, here we go. So we need pure ferrite and dihydrogen jelly. So how do we do, we can do that. How, do, where's pure ferrite? It wants me to do this part first. Okay, that's fine. Return. Now we can do pure ferrite. You know what, just get in here for a second. Let's uh, let's recharge our exosuit here. 
and also put that in there. Just so we're in like a, a good spot, you know? So how do I... Where is pure ferrite? It, it must be uh, something I need to gather then. Like that's ferrite dust. It'll tell me here. Construct a portable refiner. Okay. How in the world? Craft metal. Oh, it, it's guiding me what it wants me to do. Now access the build menu with Zed. And this is our portable refiner. Uh, I kind of want to put it in this area, like right here. And now I can put the ferrite in. Put the carbon right there. Put the ferrite dust right there, and it comes out with pure ferrite. Let's go. Is that enough? Gather ferrite dust from small rocks. Son of a B word. Is this ferrite? I mining beam is low. And you need carbon for it? How can I get carbon if I don't have a mining beam? I spent my carbon on energy. Give me my carbon back. I can't get my carbon back. Oh no. Use Q to destroy plants and trees after total power loss. Oh, okay, okay. The, you know what, the game is telling me what to do. I'm just not listening. Need to get close. Not really that much of a refill. Um, so let's let's get some more. It's not exactly like a lot of carbon here, but at least it's going to be enough. To hopefully get us some like some ferrite dust. We need fifty. Okay, that gave us like more than I was expecting. Okay, let's go. That is enough. Ba -da -ba -ba. Hopefully we don't need any more carbon for you. Beauty, beauty, all done. Give me this. Now we can come over here and we can repair our launch thrusters. Starship launch thrusters. I think we have the ship now. Ship repaired. Uh, pick up the portable refiner. Sure, that's how that works. <laughs> oh, we got the ship W to take off. Yo, let's go. Seek answers among the stars. What a beautiful... Okay, we, we probably don't want it... We're at a 90 degree angle. Whatever. <laughs> We've done it. So we didn't need the uh, the nuclear power that I thought we did. I discovered it. I love it. I'm the world's greatest no man sky player. Don't go back into it. No, 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 no. 
Test the starship controls. Test flight controls and thrust. Oh, baby. That's a rock and roll. That's what you call a solar barrel roll. Boost with left shift and pulse engine. We definitely hit those rocks. Incoming transmission. All right. Please identify yourself. I'm Kazabach. Identify yourself. Sure. Why not? You are not Kazit. Follow Kazit. The broadcast ends as strangely as it began. The final piece of the signal appears to be a set of planetary coordinates. Beautiful. So we, we, we got some coordinates which are right here. Look at this thing. That's a nice planet. I'm I'm just I'm just in awe of this. It's got selenium, copper, phosphorus, cobalt, and high sentinel activity. I don't know what that means. But that's going to be a question we answer on the next episode. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you like what you saw, feel free to give me a like and a sub. It means the world to me. I can also be found on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Jonas Fatson, on Twitter at twitter.com slash Jonas Fatson, or if you want to check out my new channel where I do video game restores, check out Jonas Restores there as well. Thanks so much for tuning in. Love you lots. Peace out. <laughs>